Billy Geist, along with Al Roker, Natalie Morales, and today's contributing correspondent, Jenna Bush. Hey, good morning, Jenna. Hey guys, morning. We're in the red zone now with um, this yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. bags packed. Yeah. You ready to go, um, just in case? bags are not packed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> I guess Vacation you know? to, to the hospital. hospital. Not um, yet. No, I need to pack the bag, probably. That's another thing to do on, on my to-do to -do list. list. Yeah, just add something else. No, yeah, just get more pressure. Yeah, <laughs> no say. pressure. It's fine. Henry needs to help with that. A little go bag, so boom. Did you pack yes. your bags? We had a go bag. Okay. Yeah, you got to yeah. be ready. You, you got to be ready. Know. What do you put in Now there? she's worried. Yeah. Don't worry. You're okay. <laughs> okay. Just, the good news is, just wait 10 have, minutes at least. If right. you don't have everything in there, you can always go back and get it. That's true. Yeah. It's yeah. not like I'm delivering in, in a different country. Exactly. Right. Henry can run home. We want to start, before we get to our take three, with your baby shower. Yeah, it was My so baby cute. shower was not published in People Magazine, but Jenna's was. Some beautiful shots in here. Tell us a little bit about the big day here. So sweet, actually. All the the ladies of today we put had it a on. Great time. Um, and, and then there was, was Hoda and Kathy Lee. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, come, come on. <laughs> Um, and great little hors d'oeuvres, by the way, Peter so Callahan. Cute. Peter, I mean, there were teeny tiny little bites and with baby themes. Yeah. Really Look well it. done. Know, Everybody's rubbing were. the belly. Are and you sick and tired of people rubbing your belly? Well, right now? strangers, it's a little yeah. awkward. Yes. But, uh, yes. But friends, or I mean, when Al rubs your belly. Yeah, that's weird. Very it was so sweet. They actually, Henry, my husband, came and surprised me, um, which I was, he turned kind of red, but, um, but. But that's a sign of a, a sensitive man. Yes. And, um, there you and go. everyone gave me books, which was really sweet. And Natalie, because you're a teacher. Because I'm a teacher, yeah. and my mom was a, a teacher and a, yeah. and a librarian. So I, I grew up with a with a mother that read to us all the time. And um, and Natalie actually sang me a, a really beautiful song. <laughs> oh no! Did I oh, geez, you serious? <laughs> she did in front of everybody. Kind of Do you want to yeah. sing it? They want to no, hear it. No, can I? Okay, how many times have you read Good Night Moon to yes. your kids? Yes, okay? many, many. So million. I have read this book so many times. Mm -hmm. I have it committed to memory right. and committed to song uh -huh, because right. I have to jazz it up, <laughs> not just for my kids. No, you actually, you don't have <laughs> for to. For herself. No, you I don't have to. Me. So she so jazzed it up. Call, in the great green room, there is a telephone <laughs> and the red balloon. It's like burlesque. <laughs> I was going to say, wow. <laughs> and a picture of well, look at, the cow. Look at Jenna's be belly bounce. Yeah. <laughs> the kids go, let me out of he here. Wants out. He wants Panic. out. Panic. Um, the, the strangest book I got was Fifty Shades of Grey. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Who gave Wait, you? Oh, I I'm name. not going to tell you. Who I gave want it to a me. name. Um, you can you guess. Do they work after after ten o'clock on our show? <laughs> They're actually. Um, yes. It's Jackie Levin, our book producer. Yes, her so, book. I know, yeah. Jackie. She was like, Sorry. This, and you said this is for baby number two, Henry. So, <laughs> yes, wow. I said we don't need okay. a baby number two yet. Right. Just, Let's get baby, baby number, number one. one yeah. Let's worry about one at a time. All right, so get that go bag. This is very cool in People magazine yes, on the newsstands sure. today. And Megan Cough, too. Yes, yes Megan, Megan. Cough, the entire publicist thing. through the party. She's a party planner extraordinaire. She is. So, She's so a She's great amazing. job. All right, yeah. let's go to our take one. Lindsay Lohan and David Letterman last night. She was on to talk about a movie, Scary Movie 5. Also, she's making a cameo on Charlie Sheen's show, Anger Management. But Dave went a little off script, asking her about her upcoming court-ordered rehab stint, and things got a little uncomfortable. Mm. How many times have you been in rehab? Several. And what, what, how will this time be different? What are they rehabbing, first of all? What, what is on their list? What, what are they going to work on when you walk through the door? We didn't discuss in the, this in the pre-interview. No, but, but it'll be three months and... and you no, I think, I think, to be honest, I'm, I'm the happiest when I'm working and the healthiest. And I think this is an opportunity for me to, you know, focus on what I love in life. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a blessing. So she's been on the show several times. She knows yeah. Dave, but she obviously was not expecting some no. of those questions. Well, I think the best thing, she was asked the question, you know, are you, do you have addictions or what are your yeah. addictions? And I think the best thing that she could do actually, just especially for people who do struggle with addictions, mm -hmm. is come out and say, yes, you know, I'm battling addictions. I mean, why not just be out front with it, honest with it, and, and say, you know, this is something, as she did say, I view this as a blessing going to, mm -hmm. to rehab. And, you know, hopefully it gets her back on track. Well, you know, maybe if somebody, I, I think it's kind of interesting that it took somebody like David Letterman to yeah. ask her the tough questions. <laughs> right. And if maybe somebody would do this and, and right. make her pay for some of the stuff that she's done, maybe she could be but on that road back. Also, the people that need to ask her the tough questions are like her, her, her family, her right. parents. Right. right. And we've seen that's not happening. No. Right. Yeah. So yeah. she's uh, due to report May 2nd to rehab. Uh, this was for a reckless driving case that happened last year. So we'll see how that turns out. Let's go to our 
take two. The National Spelling Bee adding vocabulary now. They're actually making wow. this more difficult for these kids. For the first time in the 86-year history of the National Spelling Bee, contestants will have to worry about what the words mean oh. as well as how to spell them. Wow. That's cruel. So, so now th they actually have to read the dictionary. I think that's yeah. right. <laughs> Study the dictionary. So to qualify for the I championship finals in the semis, spellers are judged on a cumulative score now that incorporates the spelling, which we've seen, the live spelling, right. mm -hmm. but also computer-based spelling questions and computer-based vocabulary questions. You won't see that part on the broadcast, Thank goodness. but it will figure 50% <laughs> yeah, really percent, percent of your score, score is based on what the word means. Wow. And it's a multiple choice thing, so I think it makes it a little bit easier. But we decided to give ourselves yes. yeah. a little so test. I, thought, I don't know if this was a great idea, but I let's thought, try it. <laughs> Jen is going to put us to the Since spelling bee test I was here. a teacher, and let me just say, this yes, is a third grade level word. Oh, okay. Great. It is. Oh, set us up. Here we go. So okay. if you don't get it, maybe you all okay. should go back to school. The word. And we have to define, spell it and define it. Spell it and define it. Okay. Oh, is borborygmus. Borborygmus? Borborygmus. Four for rigmas. Four for third Rigmas. grade level. Well, I think so. Anyone? Four. I mean, I thought it, I what, got it right origin? away. Can I get an origin? There's Four. no origin. There, oh, it has no origin. <laughs> I, I okay. believe it's Latin. Isn't everything? Aren't they all? <laughs> Can you say it one more time. Four for can you use it in a sentence? Oh, wait. No, we, we have, have to, to give it. I'm kidding. I can use it I'm in a sentence. I could, I could, if you can't get the word, I could no, use no, no, it in no, a sentence. No, no, because we have to define it. I know, but that could help. It's context clues. Borborygmus. Borborygmus. The definitions you could come up with for this. Well, that's... Borborygmus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that face? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, not close. Okay. So let's do a reveal here. Borborygmus. Do you have a definition or you're not... I'm just going to think of a definition when you get to me. He knows it. Okay. No, no, I don't. I think you Trust do. Trust me, I don't. Okay. Matt, go ahead. Mine's, well, I should have read um, the finger, I guess. That's... Borborygmus. Close, but no. Okay. Ooh. What's your definition? Well, you, uh, we'll wait till after. Okay. <laughs> show, show how you Here's spelled mine. it. No. Not no. at all. Okay. Oh, uh, no, but you guys, close. close. It's actually okay. spelled B-O-B-O-R-Y-G-M-U-S. Okay. Oh, a rumbling no. of the intestines. Okay. What? Wait, wait, wait. They put it right there. I was going to use it in a sentence. Use it in a sentence. Uh, okay, well, why don't you go My ahead and use it? My borborygmus is hurting. Uh, no? No, that wouldn't no, be right. No, that's not right. right. <laughs> Wait, you got the answer. When you're pregnant, you're when you're, you're pregnant, pregnant, when you're pregnant, unfortunately, there's the some baby is sucking everything mess. out of you. Well, out of the brain, that's yes, for that's sure. That, that's All what right. they do. That's for sure. All right. Well, we could have come up with some really know, funny good definitions. definitions but, oh, too well, bad. What were you going to go with? Just go with it. Uh, I was going to say, what happens when we get very boring? <laughs> Oh, it's like a condition? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Like I've come down with a case of I've met some people that have borborygmus, <laughs> yes. actually. Yes. I hate to sit next to them at a dinner party. Wow. Either way, actually. Put you to sleep, those borborygmus people. That's right. Proving once again, we're not qualified for a 12-year-old spelling bee. There you there go. Good luck. This is Great. today on NBC. <laughs> Now, stations just went away. Oh, my God. No, come don't back. go. Don't go. Don't Yay. go. You didn't mean that. No, no, I didn't mean that. All right, our take three. We've got a, good, a fun, quick one for our friends at BuzzFeed. Help us Here's what's this happening in your neck of the woods. <laughs> Roll it. All right, these are facts. We've got some facts that actually aren't true. Facts. Okay. okay. We think they're facts, but they're not okay. true. They're not true. Number one. One half of all marriages end in divorce. That's conventional wisdom. Sure. That's become yeah, gospel. Not, not true. true. This yes. figure is a simple comparison, of course, of the number of divorces in a given year with the total to number, number of marriages. Number of marriages. Right. Okay. But since the two figures represent two very different groups of people, mm -hmm. the 50% number is not correct. Okay. okay. So now you know. That's right. You know another one that's is that, that pregnancy only lasts nine months. No, it's 10 months. <laughs> it's 10. It's, it's, it's 10. 40 it's weeks. 10. Why 40 do they never weeks. tell you that until you get months. pregnant? Because, because you wouldn't weeks. get pregnant. That's exactly. true. <laughs> not last yeah. month. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. They're, they're Nine is okay. Yet. Ten, I'm out. Yeah. We're lowballing. Here's another one which we've sort of proven today. People only use ten percent of their brains. Some of us only five yeah. percent. I'm not even that close to half that. When you're pregnant, it's two point five. Yeah. Princeton neuroscientists, among many other experts, have debunked the idea that ninety percent of our brains go unused. So they say we use That's different goodness. parts of our brains at all times. Huh? Right. So. You guys put that put that to test today. The yes, borborygmus. We proved yes. it with our borygmus. The borborygmus. Right. Natalie, save us from ourselves. Okay. Much more facts on Buzzfeed, okay. by the way, to be disproven.